Hello and welcome back to Stephen K. De Silva Ministries. I appreciate you all joining. And uh, those of you who watch later on, that's, a, that's a, a profound blessing for me. I want you to know that we're here in Redding, California at World Headquarters, I call it. Today to talk about the $20 Captive Challenge. And this is going to be a challenge for some of you. But this is an exercise, it's really simple, and it helps you build your ability to master your money and not allow it to master you. But we're going to get to that in a moment. We'll just allow a few more people to jump on. Great to see you, Wayne. Thanks for coming. But I want to, uh, in the meantime, until we get started, just welcome people back after Thanksgiving. We've been working on a little project here. Really, it's a way to bridge between where we are before the holidays until after the holidays. And we're working through this idea of a debt bridge, watching how our debt grows and shrinks during this period of time. It's really an exercise in discovery. It's a way to learn how to measure and be aware uh, when we're in the furor or the, the, the craziness of shopping, and here we are on uh, Cyber Monday following Black Friday. So these are two of the biggest shopping days of the year in the United States. If you can imagine that, that the bulk of shopping for commercial items in America happens really over this weekend for the entire year condensed down. So this is a really intense time of year for some people that are, that are really ruled by their money and spend their money because they're feeling pressure or different motivations that may not really be true to their purpose in life. And these are the kinds of things we're working through. So we, uh, we really have this idea of a debt bridge moving through what I, let's look at it like a baseball illustration. First, second, third base, and home run. First base, we've made it because that's getting us through this weekend. And what we're doing is tracking how much debt is growing or you're managing and controlling how your spending is affecting your debt. Okay. Second base is going to be Christmas. Between now and Christmas is, is really a lot of decisions will come up and a lot of purchases will be made. And so we're going to see how we make it through this period of time. Third base will be to run through the end of New Year's and the New Year's Day resolutions and just how our celebrations look and how they affect our debt. All three, first, second, third, how are they affecting your, your total debt load? A home run will simply be to measure where we were before and where we are after. Once we begin to measure things, we really begin to activate some of the most powerful uh, uh, tools in the prosperous home products and uh, so that brings me to my last point, and then I'm going to jump into my topic today. My last point is that come January, thousands and thousands of people are going to feel anxiety over their money and how they're spending or how they're saving, whether they're in debt, whether they're saving and investing. All of these things are going to come to light, and it's like a sore spot in, a, in people's minds and hearts coming this January. It happens every year. I'd like you to consider for yourself getting ahead of that and actually activating something that is powerful in your life to prevent a sense of victimization over your money, a sense that money is owning or mastering you. I'd like you to consider getting the Prosperous Home Manual and going through that product and really page by page, begin to build the muscle of mastering your money. And I think you're going to be very pleased if you would do that. And there is a discount if you're interested. We have one discount for Thanksgiving that will end at the end of today, being Cyber Monday. So go to my website and check that out. All right. Hey, here we go. Let's jump in. Today's challenge is called the $20 captive challenge. And the reason I call it that is because we're going to base it on a simple idea of a $20 bill. You see, I've said on purpose a few times today that you want to master your money. 
and not ever allow money to master you. When money masters you, it has a voice. It has strength in your life to push you around, to make you do things that you know better or that you feel you have no power to prevent. When money is your master, it drives you like a, like a whip. You know, it, it leads you along and pulls you through things. The alternative to that, of course, is to master money and you tell it what to do. You prevent its voice from commanding your mind and your heart and your life. When you want it to go to work, you put it to work. When you want it to be silent, you tell it to be silent. Now, I don't literally mean voices screaming in your head. Although, some people do have that. If you have such a situation as literal voices, go get yourself some help. That's not normal. That's not acceptable. Go get help in the tools of a financial sozo or a regular sozo or find professional help and end that. Okay, guys? We don't need to tolerate that kind of thing. But if you're feeling like most people, just an urgency in your heart that drives you around the subject of money then I want you to begin to take this challenge. Consider it. This is our bridge time, the holiday season in America and other places where money is screaming at us to be spent. It's screaming to get out of our wallets, our pockets, and our purses and get onto some kind of thing that, that wants us to buy it. Okay? So what you do is make money your captive. And I suggest a $20 bill. You're going to take captive your money by folding it up and putting an actual bill of some level, a $5 bill, a $10, a $20, a $50, whatever. I want you to take that and put this particular bill in your purse, your wallet, or your um, pocket. Okay, And you're going to do this from now until January 1st. That means that this particular bill, this particular piece of currency is your captive and you are going to hold it inside your wallet, pocket, or purse until January 1st. I don't care how it screams. I don't care what opportunities arise. If something comes up, even if somebody asks you for money, you can help them you just can't use this particular bill because it is your captive. Does that make sense? I want you to make this thing serve you. And the way it's going to serve you over the next 34 days, 35 days, whatever we have, until January 1st, you are going to make it serve you by keeping it locked away in your wallet, pocket, or purse. I don't care what it says. I don't care what people need. I don't care what kinds of things arise. You can meet those kinds of things using other money, but this one cannot be used. It is your captive, and it is an exercise at silencing the urgency that comes from the voice of money. Okay? Now, the reason I say January 1st is that will bridge us to the other end of our holiday season. When you get to the other end, and let's pick January 1st, I want you to consider literally pulling this out. This $1, this, this bill that has been yours for the last 30-some days of captivity, I want you to pull it out, I want you to set it before the Lord, and I want you to ask God, Ask God, Father in heaven, what do you want me to do with this? Do you want me to live on it, give on it, or save on it? Ask the Lord what he wants you to do. And be honest. You may be surprised. He may say, go buy yourself a treat. Celebrate. He might. He might say, go sow it. Give it to someone in need or put it in an offering in a church or give it to a, a charity that you believe in. Consider that January 1st, God may say, 
enjoy it or live on it, use it for a bill. He may say, give it, or he may say, save it. He may say, take that and put it in the bank, okay? So that's a simple exercise, but you might find it's a little harder than you think. It's going to be hard right now because we are in the most intense season of the entire year when commercials, when commercialism and consumerism is literally screaming for you to spend this. Spend, that's fine. Money is there to serve you. But remember, spend according to your purpose, not according to urgencies. Urgencies are loud and important things are quiet. You want to follow important things like identity and purpose and meaning rather than scramble under the urgency and the loud voice of things that are constantly pushing at you. Learn to master your money and we'll do that for the next 30 some days by taking a $20 bill captive. God bless you and God bless your prosperous soul. Cut. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for coming today. Appreciate you guys showing up that show up live. You know, I tried to do a video recording the other day and you know what I found is that it isn't nearly as easy when I realize there's nobody live on the other end of the uh, of the video so I really thank you guys for taking the time and jumping on God bless you guys thanks so much hey I'll see you guys next time and uh, Wednesday I don't know what the subject is but I know the Lord will drop something in my head so pray for that and I'll pray for you God bless you guys and God bless your prosperous soul bye bye hey thanks for watching I'm Stephen K. De Silva, and you're probably wondering, why have I never heard this information before? Well, now you can by going up into this corner and subscribing to this channel. Or you can go to this corner and watch the next video. There is tons of information I'm giving you. Go check it out and go deeper. Or better yet, go to the link below and go check out my website. I've got some free stuff on there. Go get that and go see lots of resources so you can finally master your money. Hey, I got to go record another video. I'll see you soon. Bye.